Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. Happy New Year. In today's video, I am sharing the best coats and jackets for winter 2024. These are the best winter coats for women, and I feel like I have a good variety of them, and I'm super excited to share them with you. Now, of course, everything is linked down below in the description box. If you're a mobile, tap a tell this video, and everything will populate for you there. I will also include like the link i'll link everything up even the outfit that i have underneath the code in case that is of interest to you everything can be found down below in the description box now i don't think you need every single one of these of course especially depending on where you live but i have a good variety so let's get right into it the best winter coats and jackets for women 2024. now i want to start off with a coat that just blew me away and completely surprised me. This is Abercrombie's wool dad coat. And typically in years past, I've always said, I don't like how a dad coat fits. I feel like it's oversized, it's more squared. So it doesn't lay right on my curvier frame. I just feel like it kind of gives a bulge in the back of fabric where basically my hips and butt are just like, I don't ever feel like it lays nicely. I do love this coat or these style of coats on like pretty much everyone else. Anytime I see it, I'm like, oh, I like that. And then when I either shop or find something similar, I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna look good on me. So I was completely surprised by this year's version. And I think the reason is, is because it has a really nice, kind of like a slim A-line shape to it. So it's not that complete boxy squared shape, which I think is just way more flattering on a female body or at least on mine, like being a little bit of a curvier build, it's just way more flattering. Now this coat is currently on sale down to $130, I believe, maybe even like $119. Um, at full price, I think it's right around $250, $220. Um, and it comes in lots of different colors. This is obviously the camel color. I've said in a couple videos ago that I really wanted more of the taupe oatmeal color. So I was hoping for it to come back in stock to be able to swap this out. But unfortunately, it may be it might be sold out for the season. A lot of these jackets, I think this jacket in itself comes in like maybe 10 different color options, herringbone, like a plaid print, lots of different solids, beautiful neutral colors. Um, unfortunately, very slim in sizing, but I will find a similar dad coat and leave it linked down below as well. This coat also comes in a longer length, like a tall length as well. Um, but I really like the camel color. I think it's a beautiful neutral color. And again, I was just really shocked that I loved this dad shape. So this one definitely blew me away. I think it's really, really cute. I like it layered open, like just worn open. But of course, if you live somewhere more frigid, you might be you know, more likely to button it up, have a scarf on, but a really, really nice coat. This is definitely an everyday coat. You can style it over your work outfit, whatever you're wearing into the office, a more casual outfit, even if that's like a crop sweater and jeans, baggy jeans and sneakers. This looks great on top. If you're styling it with knee-high boots and a dress, this looks great on top. Very, very versatile. This is a great everyday wool coat. Now, typically in years past, I would have told you that my favorite is definitely this style. Again, another beautiful wool coat from Abercrombie. This one is from last year, and I would have told you that I always have to have a tie around my waist. Again, I think it just defines my shape, a more of an hourglass shape. So just being a little bit curvier, anytime I wear something super straight, I feel like it doesn't really do as much for my body, and I kind of get lost in that fabric. I think sometimes I just feel like I appear, appear overall a little bit heavier so i so i typically look for the, like a tie to kind of come in at the waist so this one's from last year i love it i did get a size small in it last year i think the coats just ran kind of bigger and that was the overall sizing everyone kind of sized down this year this is an update to that coat for sure it comes in a light gray color obviously i have the camel color here it is a much thinner weight which is really really nice this one is quite heavy and i find myself only able to wear it maybe a couple of times living out here in southern california but back in north carolina and then in pittsburgh where we grew up i mean this is something i could have worn way more often but this one's like a really nice material it's a lot thinner so if you do find yourself running hot or you kind of style with heavier items underneath or you just live somewhere where it's a little bit warmer this may be a good option i'm in a size medium in this again also comes in a light gray color and also on sale now another coat that I think is wonderful for the season and kind of lends to a little bit of a longer season in my opinion. You can definitely start wearing this more in like later fall and then even early spring, but definitely having a wool blazer. So I have two here. They're both from H&M. I ended up keeping the large in these just because um, I found that like the medium was a little bit tight in my biceps, which I mentioned in my H&M video. If you haven't seen that, I just posted an H&M haul, very casual winter outfits lookbook. Um, I'll leave it linked down below, but lots of great basic items in that haul. I think a lot of them you might already have in your closet. So just kind of give you some outfit inspiration for, you know, the rest of winter, all of that. But 
I had said that, yeah, this little snug in my biceps, which I don't typically ever have that issue. So I thought if I was going to wear even like a little bit of a thicker sweater, kind of like the turtleneck one that I have on, I might have just been felt constricted. So I just went ahead and sized up. Now this wool blazer definitely has more of a squared and oversized look, which I absolutely love. And this camel color, in my opinion, is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit more muted. It's a little bit cooler tone. I find myself to be really sensitive to more orange and saturated camels. So I definitely, definitely love this one. I think it is the perfect lighter camel color. And I also got it in black here, which I think is just like, you know, a no brainer. These are two neutral classic timeless colors in your wardrobe. I obviously, depending on what you would wear, what you wear more often, maybe I would lend that way, but I did think black is always a good option. And then of course the light camel as well. Abercrombie does have a very similar one that I actually just ordered. Again, it comes in that light oatmeal color, that light beige color. That is my absolute favorite. It's roughly the same color that I was trying to exchange the wool dad coat for. So I went ahead and ordered it. I got it in a medium, I believe. Um, I'm wondering if I should have gotten a large though. I might try to order both. Um, but again, it's like that beautiful lighter color the way that, that that coat is looking to fit the model I do kind of think it might be a little bit shorter in length in the sleeves I do feel like this is a, a tad little bit long on me I mean I could definitely take the seamstress and get them taken in but again it's kind of like that oversized fit so I don't know if I really would but I do think a wool blazer is a great option again I feel like you can style this in so many different ways anything you're wearing into the office if you're styling it back with some jeans and heels I think it's really cute if you're styling it with sneakers and jeans I feel like this is a really good option and I even could see myself styling this in like a really cool kind of streetwear way where it's like maybe my New Balance sneakers, leggings, and an oversized hoodie and then throwing this on on top. Okay, definitely a luxury item, definitely a splurge, but this coat that I got in from Revolve, it is by the brand La Academ. It is absolutely incredible. It is so heavy. It is like a beautiful, amazing wool quality. It's just definitely up there in price. I think it's right around 350. I think this kind of coloring, this heathering of the wool is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's definitely an investment coat that you would have for years to come. A style like this, an oversized maxi wool coat, it will live on and on. So you don't have to worry about it going out of style at all. And I definitely think going more with a neutral like this with it being kind of like the gray, a little bit of black and the cream is just absolutely timeless, but definitely a splurge. I got a size medium in this. I love it. Definitely a very heavy coat. I'm a little limited out here in Southern California for how often I would wear this, but definitely a beautiful coat nonetheless it has this little leather strap that you tie around so again you can cinch it in but i do like it worn just wide open i think it looks really beautiful that way too now this little faux fur jacket was another one that kind of surprised me this season i had found this on amazon and i thought it would just look really cute styled like with some holiday looks some party outfit inspiration those kind of um reels and tiktoks that i create a little bit of a daily outfit inspiration and i am just absolutely amazed at the quality of this it is such a soft and nice material feels really amazing on i think the fit is really nice i did order in a size medium and i feel like the quality is just a 10 out of 10 on this beautiful coloring comes in lots of different colors now obviously moving out of the holiday season if you wanted to style this, I feel like this is a coat that can definitely live through February. I feel like this is really cute for date night. You've got Valentine's Day coming up if you're going to celebrate that, Valentine's Day, whatever it is. But I feel like I would style this with even some simple jeans, a little sweater underneath, or a little cute little blouse underneath, and some heels. And I feel like it's a really great jacket to kind of throw on for some kind of date night or brunch or... Yeah, even like a nicer lunch. So I definitely feel like you can style this out of the holiday season. And again, I was just absolutely impressed with this. Comes in lots of different colors. Wearing a medium from Amazon. Now this next jacket is this aviator jacket that I got in from H&M. And the color on this is absolutely stunning. I think it is gorgeous. I love this taupey gray color. I think it is just unlike really anything else I've seen. This jacket does come in two other colors. It comes in like kind of like a faux leather. It comes in two black colors. So like a faux leather black with some black Sherpa and then it also comes with like a black faux leather with cream Sherpa. I love the oversized fit on this. Again, I kept the large instead of the medium. I just feel like this kind of jacket lends to being super oversized. I see myself styling this wearing it wide open, so over a chunky turtleneck or even like a slim fitting long sleeve, but definitely over some jeans or joggers. I feel like it's very versatile 
and I think it's really absolutely stunning. I'm not sure how much I would get used out of it here in Southern California, but again, I think if you live somewhere much colder, you can definitely style this in so many different ways. Now, I wanted to include a full leather black jacket. This is an older one from Blank NYC that I absolutely love wearing a size medium in this. I'm on the hunt for that aviator jacket, jacket to basically be just all of a faux leather black color. I think that would be really cool to style over leggings, like a t-shirt and leggings, um, great travel kind of coat to wear as well, but definitely lends more of the sneaker. So this one's a little bit more fitted, which I like, but definitely trying to find a very big oversized one. If I find one, I will also leave it linked down below. And I'll link, I'll link a similar one to this too. There's lots on the market that I have found. So there'll be a, quite a few links down below. Okay, now this next one, depending on where you live, this may not exactly be a winter coat for you, but I want to include a couple options that were a little bit lighter just because I live in a climate that I can't be wearing wool every single time I leave the house. And so this one, this is a mango coat again that I have styled so many times here on my channel. It is one of my most styled pieces during the fall and winter season. I just think it is so cozy. It's so comfortable. I am in a size medium in this and I've just have styled it so many different ways, whether it's over like a nice sweater and jeans, over some leggings and like a baggy sweatshirt, um, styling with just like my Spanx follow leggings and a nice shirt underneath for like an office outfit. So just a very versatile piece. Every year Mango comes out with this coat again in quite a few different colors, always really great neutrals. So I thought I would go ahead and mention it here. And then I wanted to make sure to include a trench coat. Now, typically I kind of wear this more often in like spring and fall maybe, but I do, if I wanted to, I could absolutely wear this here again with a little turtleneck underneath and maybe some trousers or some jeans, but just because it doesn't get very cold here. And so while this is in a shade of a blush pink shade color, I will link some great neutrals um, down below. I kind of leave a more casual lifestyle, so I absolutely always love having like a bomber jacket or a varsity style jacket like these um, in my collection. This one I got in for this year from Revolve. It is hands down one of my favorite jackets to wear. I absolutely am obsessed with the fit of it. It has a little bit more of a crop fit. I love the cream here. Obviously the striping detailing, I think it just lends like so well to that varsity style. And I'm just obsessed with this one. I am in a size medium in this one. And then this one that I styled, this was actually my husband. So it's from Nike and it's an XL. He's a pretty tall guy. Um, and I do like it though on me. I like it because I feel like it's just like a good length to wear with leggings. I have the booty coverage, you know, front coverage. And again, I would just kind of style this on with either some leggings and some sneakers. I had styled it with my New Balance shoes. Those are new shoes that I got in so freaking comfy. Um, but I also would style this over maybe some joggers again with sneakers. So definitely on the more casual side, but nonetheless, Abercrombie has a really great bomber jacket. Nike has a beautiful cream one, so I'll leave lots of different options down below. Okay, again, speaking of Abercrombie, I think they do the whole crop puff puffer the absolute best. Every single year they come out with the best neutral colors and tones. Like even the muted colors are so creamy. I feel like Abercrombie is just always a 10 out of 10 with their color selection. And so this one's a little bit old, but like I said, they come out with this every single year. I'm wearing a size medium in this. It's water resistance, a wind resistance. It's always used there. It's always created with like recycled materials, which is amazing. Um, but I definitely love a coat like this to wear, especially in my Pilates class or my or into the gym. I feel like it's just kind of perfect to throw on over at leisure wear or your active wear or your gym pieces. Um, so can't recommend that one enough. And then this year I actually got two puffer coats from Amazon and I'm just shocked at the quality. So this one here is from the Amazon Essentials Collection. I'm wearing a size medium in this. It comes in a couple different colors. I want to say maybe five or six, but I love this cream white color. I think this is absolutely stunning. Now there's no hood on this. So if you're someone that lives in weather where it's like not the greatest, I would probably look for a hooded one. I have one to share next, but I like this because yeah, it doesn't really rain. It doesn't rain off in here or snow or anything like that. So I just thought this was kind of like a nice different detail for me. What I'm obsessed the most with this coat is the fact that there's cinching here in the waist. So again, what I was speaking to earlier, I feel like sometimes a puffer coat, they can just be a lot of fabric, which it's totally fine that they are. But for me, I kind of like a little bit of a tailor, like coming in a little bit at the waist, I think just looks, makes me feel better. So I love that it has this detail. Like I said, comes in quite a few different colors, wearing size medium, definitely a more of a medium weight puffer. This isn't like, you know, you're not going to be in outside for hours and hours. Um, definitely a more of a medium to light puffer, um, thickness. Now, if you need a little bit of a heavier puffer coat, and one with like a hood. This one I found from Amazon as well, amazing quality. 
definitely a lot thicker but super soft both of them are incredibly soft i'm shocked at that but this is definitely a little bit of a heavier weight it's also a little bit longer has a side zipper down here which i think is really nice flattering on the body whether you're wearing this over some leggings or sweatpants i feel like that just always gives a really nice shape again in this i'm wearing a size medium and i would say it runs true to size i think this is absolutely gorgeous comes in lots of different colors and then lastly this coat is quite a few years old now i want to say it might even be like five or six years old but i had picked this one up from nordstrom just a good black puffer coat i think it's always like a wardrobe essential i love that this one's more of an a-line shape and again i just wear this all the time pretty much every night during the winter here um, for our walk but now that i have a couple of the other puffer coats i've been kind of swapping out but i feel like a black one is always the perfect color to get first um i just feel like you'll wear it the absolute most i will link several options down below okay girls that is it for the best winter coats and jackets 2024 i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers here and I appreciate each and every single one of you who take a second to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you are looking for more daily outfit inspiration, I do post a YouTube short, TikTok, and Instagram reel pretty much every single day. I would love for you guys to follow me on my other channels as well. My handle is very easy. It's the same at Brittany and Courtney. Now, of course, everything's linked down below in the description box. If you need anything else at all, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you really soon in my next one.